Hydrolysis of salts. Salts of strong acids and strong bases. Example, sodium chloride, potassium nitrate, etc. The salt ionizes completely in water giving Na plus and Cl minus ions. Now this is the hydrolysis reaction which is hypothetical and actually does not happen in this case. This is because NaCl, NaOH and HCl all are strong electrolytes and dissociate completely like this. Now Na plus and Cl minus ions are there in both sides of the equation and cancel out each other. Therefore the net reaction is the ionization of water which existed before adding the salt. So the pH remain neutral that is 7. Salts of strong acid and weak base example ammonium chloride, ferric chloride etc. Ammonium chloride ionize as follows. Here chloride ion is the anion of strong acid HCl therefore it does not hydrolyze. But ammonium ion comes from a weak base ammonium hydroxide and therefore hydrolyzes as follows. Here H is the degree of hydrolysis and KH is the hydrolysis constant which is equal to KW divided by KB. pH is calculated to be 7 minus half pKB plus log C where C is the concentration of the salt. Salts of weak acid and strong base example sodium carbonate, sodium acetate etc. The method of calculation is the same as the previous one. Only here acetate ion which comes from a weak acid, acetic acid, hydrolyzes having KH equal to KW divided by KA and TH equal to 7 plus half PKA plus log C. Salts of weak acid and weak base example ammonium acetate, ammonium carbonate. Here both anion and cation react with water as follows. Here KH is calculated to be KW divided by KB into KA. Writing down the equilibrium concentrations we get square root of KH is equal to H divided by 1 minus H. Also we know that Ka is equal to C into 1 minus H into hydrogen ion concentration divided by CH. Therefore Ka equal to hydrogen ion concentration divided by square root of Kh. Eliminating Kh from these two equations we get pH equal to 7 plus half pKa minus pKb. As you see here that the pH is independent of concentration.